you feel that? It doesn't look like you feel it. Give it time. I can be patient. I'm surprised that you can see me. That's a good sign for me. I've been watching you for a while. Now that you can see and apparently hear me, now's the perfect time to conduct an interview. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Not one bit. I don't want to injure your body at all. Might have guessed by my appearance, but I'm a ghost. Hello. Oh, it's not often that people can see or hear a ghost, but if you are able to communicate with me, it means that we're connected in a way. We're connected because I've been trying to reach you. See, I'm interested in you. I think you are perfect. Now, the reason I think you're perfect is your physical body would make a fantastic vessel for me. I have spent a long, long time in ghost form, and I would very much like to interact with the physical world once again. There are people that I left behind that I would very, very much like to be able to visit again. And you're going to help me with that, provided that you are answer all of my questions truthfully. Alright, first question. Have you ever been possessed by a ghost before? Have you ever had a near-death experience? You've had 14 near-death experiences. It's just you might not have realized how close to death some of those are. Maybe well, could have accidentally stepped on something, gotten sick. Maybe you were stopped for going out into traffic and getting hit by someone. Maybe you escaped an illness. Fourteen is relatively low for someone your age. How old are you exactly? I have a good idea, but I'm not sure what your exact birthday is. It's 
a good birthday. I'm looking for a body that's a bit stronger than my original body. It didn't last very long. I did push it to a limit. What kind of diet do you have? Do you exercise? Do you have a lot of friends? And I'm not counting family members. Family can be friends, but I'm specifically talking about people you've made friends with outside of your family. It's a bit hard to know if what related to it. I'm just curious about how social you are. Personally, I'm not very social. In life, my friends were the ten cats that I I heard they had quite a field day when they found my body. I had left a door open for them, but apparently they thought I would be out tastier than any wild animals they could catch. Honestly, they were probably too lazy to go out hunting. I did spoil them quite a bit. Because they thought they were entitled to every piece of meat. I'm talking to you, are you able to feel this more than before? Becoming stronger? Injuries. Have you ever had a minor injury? I know I asked about near death experiences, but what about something like a broken bone, minor illness, maybe food um, <laughs> poisoning? A few brushes with poison in my day. I usually was the one making it, but occasionally I would accidentally forget that I was making some and then lick it off my hand. And <laughs> that's how I ended up going. I thought I would poison somebody else, but I ended up poisoning myself because I wasn't careful. very well. I knew I should have went into toxins why I didn't go into poisons. That's what interested me at the time. What are your interests? Hobbies? Skills? Talents? Let's just enjoy doing things that really bring joy to your life. so many 
things we can do in life. Sometimes it feels like it's overwhelming because there's so many different choices. It can be especially hard when you want to try something new and you're not immediately good at it. You just want to give up because you can just feel how limited your time is. And it just feels like it's going to be a waste if you spend it not being good at something. That's the best part is when you can feel yourself changing. Proving you're at a, a skill, game, a talent, just something you find amusing. Like when I spent all that time training my cats to sit on my shoulders, I thought it'd be really fun to have them perch on my shoulders. And it'd be nice to walk around the house with them right next to me. I could hear them purr, I could pet them, keep them out of my stuff, that stuff, but it was actually a bit of a, a problem. They wouldn't listen, they wouldn't sit when I wanted them to, they would just use me like a step stool and hop around the house. Such an audible thing, but that's part of the reason I enjoy cats. Other pets are nice too. Dog, type of bird, lizards, fish, larger animals like horses, hamsters, chinchilla. Do you have any pets? Quite a few animal souls following you around. Maybe they were yours. Maybe just ones that took a liking to you. You just have that Genesis Qua draws ghosts to you. Very, very well. I am really liking what I'm hearing, and I really like what I see. You have a great body. It is so open to possession. It's almost like you want somebody to take over for a little bit. Which I get. Sometimes life feels out of control. You wouldn't mind having someone else. Take the wheel, so to say. And I have plans, so many, many, many plans. Just love to take this for a spin and see what kind of trouble I can get into. Especially since everyone thinks I've died. You never know what was going on. Just go see. I won't be too rough on the body. They're not easy to obtain. I don't want to abuse them. Much do you know about the afterlife? Or rather, how much do you think you know? Huh? 
happens and everyone has a different idea of what happens. Even I'm not sure what exactly happened and I'm already gone. I'm not sure if this is normal or not. I think if everyone turns into a ghost, I meet more people. I haven't met that many people. Unless we're all on a different level, perhaps. Perhaps there are layers. Perhaps not. Perhaps some people just fade into nothing. Perhaps people go somewhere. Perhaps they are reincarnated. Which I kind of see this as a reincarnation. I mean, how you get to choose what they're reincarnated as. Kind of get a second chance at life. It is possession. Measurements are great. This is exactly what I thought they would be. It's good to see that even in death, I'm always right. You have a fantastic body for possession. It's just so malleable. Just ready for someone else to take a bolt. I don't even know how much practice I'll need before I can really control things. It's like very, very good at controlling this almost immediately when I take too much to get used to it. At least right now you are. Attention will definitely wane over time. If you could have any job in the world. I'm sorry to say that isn't the job I'm going to have you do. I'm going to be doing something a bit different. See, I made poison, but it wasn't necessarily for myself. I would sell it to others as much as I understand I am somewhat to blame for my demise. I can't help but wonder if perhaps someone sent me out. And well, that never sat right with me. That's why I need a nice, fresh, male body to help me get my revenge. And the best part is, even if get caught, I can just leave your body, which means that I can commit a crime and not have to pay for it. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to be careful. I'll try to make sure I don't get caught. It took a while to find a body like yours, so I definitely don't want 
want to be too reckless. But it's okay if I'm just a little bit reckless. I won't do anything rash, at least not immediately. I want to spend some time enjoying this body before I get back to work. One of the things I miss the most about having a physical form is being able to interact with water. Which one to swim, float. If the ghosts are always in a sense of floating, but there's no gravity, so it always feels like you're out of control. When you're in the water, it feels like there's something around you, holding you down, and keeping you afloat. Tell that you're separated from the water, but you are a ghost and you're incorporeal. You feel like you are a part of everything. There's no place where you end and something else begins. You're all just stuck there together. What's your favorite part about having a physical body? Oh, I'll have to try that. A few more measurements. Like we're getting closer. I believe we've reached the event horizon. No going back now. You may have noticed that I'm becoming Just me getting closer to possessing you. You can see me better. You can hear me better. You can feel me better. I can feel, hear, and see you. Very 
very soon. I'm going to be in control. You'll still be there. You can watch. I promise it's going to be a fun show. So just sit back. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Just let me handle it. You can be a spectator. Just close your eyes. Now it's time for us to switch. I can. So to speak, of course. 